This is how I made $300,000 off stoners. And no, I'm not a fucking drug dealer. I do TikTok organic drop shipping. And in this video, I'm gonna be going over specifically how I made a lot of money from selling weed products. I'm gonna go over products I've ran, how I make them go viral, and key tips for marketing. So I'm not about to sit here and yap. Let's get straight into the value. So the first product I'm going to be talking about is this product right here. This product right here was my first ever winner with TikTok Organic. I documented my entire journey selling this product from working at In-N-Out to making six figures with this product right here. But basically what this product is, is a portable bong disguised to look like a regular water bottle. As you can see, it just looks like a normal water bottle, but when you open it up, it transforms into a bong, as you can see. So very cool product, very intrinsically viral, and it has a wow factor to it. You might be wondering, how did I find this product? As usual, organic dropshippers do. We scroll on our burners four hours a day. That's exactly how I found this product. One day I was scrolling on my TikTok burner and I found this product right here. And like I said, it instantly caught my eye. It has an insane wow factor. It's intrinsically viral and it's in a passionate niche. The weed niche is a very passionate audience. They will buy anything as long as it helps them smoke quicker, faster, or more discreetly. And that's exactly what this product did. So my method of going viral with this product was by piggybacking off of Fulcrum's success. If you guys don't know who Fulcrum is, he's a very popular weed YouTuber. And at the time when I found this product, Fulcrum was blowing up and he was skyrocketing in his career. He was going viral all over TikTok, all over social media. So I knew in order for me to blow up this product, I just need to piggyback off his success because he's a weed YouTuber. He's in the same niche as my target audience for this weed product. So I just had to ride his wave in order to blow up this product. And that's exactly what I did. So basically what I did is I've used a bunch of Fulcrum's references and catchphrases with my product. As you guys know, Fulcrum made up Yodi Land, Yodi Gang, Faded Than a Ho, all those types of words that stoners like to say. So all I did was incorporate those words in my marketing. But basically I was like, POV, you can visit Yodi Land wherever you go. Or every Yodi Gang member needs this water bottle. Simple videos like that, using Fulcrum's catchphrases in my videos, so his audience would collide with my audience and buy my products. So that's exactly what I did in my videos were going so viral and directly hitting my target audience every single time. Because like I said, people who watch Fulcrum's content are stoners and my target audience is obviously stoners. So if I combine his marketing with my marketing with my product, obviously I'm going to blow up in my target audience and that is going to bring me a lot of sales. And that is exactly what happened. In total with this product right here, I did around $120,000 in revenue with around 70% margins. So now I'm gonna show you guys a quick example of one of my most viral videos with this product right here. That video right there got 35 million views. That video by itself probably brought me around $50,000 in sales in just one month. And that led to me hitting one of my biggest months ever, $56,000 in one month. And the majority of all those sales came from this single video right here. So I'm gonna break down for you guys why this went so viral. So like I mentioned, because it's a bong disguised as a water bottle, that in itself is so intrinsically viral and it has such a wow factor that I don't have to say much in the video. All I had to say was POV, everyone still thinks this is a water bottle. When you see the hook of the video, you think it's a regular water bottle. So what I did is try to confuse the viewers so they have to wait until the beat drops to see what the product actually does. Then they see when the beat drops, it turns into a bong and it's a huge wow factor and they go instantly buy the product because it's actually a pretty cool product. So very simple video, but managed to get around 35 million views and brought me in a total of around $50,000 in sales. So this right here is the first product I'm going to be covering. Now let's move on to the next product. This product right here is going to be the second product I'm going to be covering in this video. But basically what this product is, is a two-in-one pipe and lighter. As you can see, you just open it up and you can smoke out of it. It's basically a lighter, but you can also smoke out of the pipe right here. Just like that. It lights your weed and you can smoke it all in one compartment. Pretty cool product. Once again, it's an intrinsically viral product and it's in the weed niche. So I knew I could instantly blow this up. So you might be wondering how I found this product. No secret method, nothing special. I just found it scrolling on my TikTok burner. So when it came to running this product, I knew I was gonna deal with a bunch of TikTok bands. So I didn't really wanna deal with that. So what I did with this product is I focused mainly on Instagram. So with this previous product I showed you guys, I managed to get around 35,000 followers on an Instagram account. So what I did is I just completely 
completely rebranded the Instagram account and I started running this product right here. And because that Instagram already had a base following of 35,000 followers, this product instantly started blowing up and instantly started getting sales. And once again, with this product, Fulcrum was still a big name in the weed niche. So what I did was also piggyback off his success with this product, using his catchphrases, using his language in my videos. So his target audience would collide with my target audience and buy my product. But even Fulcrum saw my videos and got mad at me for using his catchphrases. That's just to show you guys how viral I really went with this product. And another thing I wanna mention with this product right here is I basically invented a movement on TikTok. So if you're wondering why a bunch of dropshippers are doing this movement with weed products and who invented it, you're looking at the inventor right here. So I'm gonna show you guys what I did with this product. So what I would do is I would grab my camera and bring the product close up. I would bring the product towards the camera and act like I'm actually smoking it as if the viewer was actually smoking the product. I would light the product like this, bring it to the camera, and slowly bring it away. Just to add kind of like a weed smoking effect to the video. But now what I'm gonna do is show you guys some example videos with this product right here and break them down for you guys. So first example right here. Bitch, I'm cheap, keep, buckles don't light. And, and, and bitch, we GBE, we just go sight. And as you can see, I was also using the fulcrum language in this video. POV, your food was mid, so you had to take a Hiddington. If you guys didn't know, Fulcrum was the one who invented the Ington after saying a bunch of different words. So what I did is I just incorporated his language in my videos. So once again, his target audience would also collide with my target audience and I could go more viral in my niche. So it's not a good video whatsoever, but especially with stoners, you just wanna make funny videos that they can relate to. And this is exactly that. It's just a simple video that stoners can relate to and they found it funny and it brought me a lot of sales. So very simple example. Another example right here is what I did with this product is I would just take it in public and do out of pocket things. Because obviously the more out of pocket you are, the more out of pocket your background is, it's going to attract more controversy and attract more views. Especially when you're competing with other drop shippers, they do not want to go in public and wave their product in the air in front of a bunch of people and look dumb. So that's going to make it easier for you to get more sales because your competition does not want to do this. So I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about right here. But basically what I did is I went to Chipotle and just fucking wave my product in the air and made a dumb video. And I'll show you guys that right now. Upgrade the glut with a laser muzzle i'm on a whole nother level i'm geeky you think you fucking with me but you twist as you can see pov how to confuse everyone at chipotle now i'm literally filming a video in front of a group of like 10 innocent girls just trying to enjoy their food and i'm over here like playing with my product doing dumb shit like of course this is going to go viral because it's so out of pocket like a lot of the comments are probably gonna be like leave those girls alone or like what is this dude doing behind all these girls so it's just gonna cause a lot of controversy and bring a lot of people towards the comments but once again i did the movement also in this video i was crappy at the movement back then i've obviously perfected my craft now but this was just the first couple times i did this movement but yeah very simple videos nothing special but overall with this product right here i managed to do around twenty thousand dollars in just under a month and a half of running it so obviously not the biggest results but 20k in just under a month and a half i'll take that any day so this was the second product i'm going to be talking about now let's move on to the next product so i would honestly be very surprised if you guys have not seen this next product i'm going to be covering because i really blew this shit up but the product i'm going to be talking about is this right here, the Smile Labs cart pen. So basically how I found this product, I was scrolling for like three hours, angry as shit. I was like, I need a winning product, bro. I was scrolling all day long and I came across this video right here. As you can see, horrible video. I, I have no idea what that is. That was the worst video I've ever seen in my life. This lady's hands are chubby as shit. I don't know what she was doing, but when I saw that product, I was like, holy shit, this is a winning product, bro. This product is insane. Once again, immediate wow factor. It's a cart battery disguised as a pen that also writes on paper. It immediately caught my attention. So I knew if I were to run this product, it would immediately catch everybody's attention and go so viral. So the first thing I did is I went to AliExpress. I was tweaking, looking for this product and I was texting a bunch of suppliers trying to source this product so I could run it. But then all these suppliers got back to me and they were basically like, brother, you're fucking cooked. This is not a dropshipping product. You cannot sell this. This is a real brand. But obviously I didn't want to give up because I knew there was a lot of potential to make money with this product right here. As you guys saw by that video, those were the types of videos this brand was making when I found it. They had no viral marketing on TikTok. I even tracked their sales on Shop Hunter. They were only doing like $6,000 a month. They were no viral marketing, not making money. 
So I was like, damn, this is my time to swoop in. I can help out this brand and blow it up for them. So what I did is I basically hit up this brand and I was like, yo, I do organic TikTok marketing. I really like your product. I think I can really blow this up for you guys. I was like, just give me an affiliate link and let me handle the rest from here. So that's exactly what they did. They gave me an affiliate link and they gave me free products to make TikToks with. And as soon as they showed up to my house, I got to work. And I'll throw a screenshot right here because I remember the first day I started with this product, there was a leaderboard of the top affiliate earners. And I was like, yo, I will be number one. And one week later, I was number one. I generated around $1,000 in profit meaning I probably brought the brand around 10 to like $20,000 in sales my first ever week working with them. And like I mentioned, before me, they were only doing around like $6,000 a month. So as soon as I hopped on it, they made 10 to $20,000 the first week I started. So my first ever week, I started printing money with this product and I knew there was so much money to be made. So obviously I'm not a gatekeeper. What I did is I hired a bunch of people in my Discord to also help me blow up this brand so we could all make money and all help the brand blow up. So it's a win-win for both of us. The brand goes viral and they make money and the creators make money for blowing up the brand. And that is exactly what we did. We fucking blew up this brand. I'm gonna say it again. This brand right here was barely making $6,000 a month when I first discovered this product. After I started running it and after I hired a bunch of people in my Discord to start running for this brand, this brand started making $500,000 a month all from our marketing. So if you're wondering who the mastermind behind this product was, you're looking at him right here. I really do this shit. I really blew this shit up. But like I said, it wasn't just me. I hired a bunch of people in my Discord also. So all of us were going viral and all of us were making money. We basically took this brand from a non-existent company to a real brand making real business moves. They partnered with Fulcrum. They partnered with a bunch of big weed influencers. That was all because of us and our marketing. Unfortunately though, the owner of this brand was being very stingy. Even after I made him hundreds of thousands of dollars, he didn't want to acknowledge like what I brought to the company. I was taking time out of my day to blow this brand up for free because I was working for commission only. I was blowing up this brand for free, getting very small commission. And the owner was being very stingy, didn't want to give me any money. He also didn't want to acknowledge what I was bringing towards the brand. Like I said, this was a non-existent company before I found this brand. I'm the one that blew it up and he still didn't want to acknowledge what I brought to the brand. So I don't want to expose too much, but I just got fed up with it and I decided to walk away. So now I'm gonna do is show you guys some viral video examples that I made for this product right here. So once again, because this product is so intrinsically viral, I honestly didn't have to do too much. The main thing I focused on was the concepts, like the hooks of the videos and also the backgrounds. I tried to do out of pocket backgrounds, like taking it to the airport or taking it in public to show how discreet the product was. So I'm gonna show you guys an example right here, me taking it to the airport. And once again, as you guys just saw in that video, I was doing the, that hand movement that I invented. It just worked very good with this product because once again, I like the POV meme style content and that's a very POV style of video. Actually bringing it to the camera, acting like the audience is smoking the product through the phone, if that makes sense. Here's another example right here. As you can see, very simple videos, but POV, I'm never getting caught again. Obviously the target audience for this product is going to be high schoolers and college students. Obviously I didn't invent the brand, so don't get mad at me for targeting high schoolers, but that's my job. I'm a marketer. Their target audience is clearly high schoolers. So I was marketing to my target audience. That's what I do. So very simple videos. Obviously the pen is meant to be discreet so people can smoke discreetly without getting caught. So obviously POV, I'm never getting caught again. It sounds simple, but that's really what I do. It's very simple marketing. And because the product is so intrinsically viral, it just blows up. So very simple. The next thing I was focusing on is out of pocket backgrounds. Here's an example of me taking this onto an airplane. But as you can see, very out of pocket background. There's people sitting on an airplane and the last thing you expect is somebody to bring a Benjamin and start smacking it in front of everybody. So that's very viral, very eye catching and just so out of pocket that it's bound to blow up. Like there's no choice. If you were to take this on an airplane, obviously you're going to go viral because it's so out of pocket. But yeah, those are just a few examples of some viral videos I made with this product. Now let's move on to the next product. So the same thing I did with this brand right here, I also did with this next brand I'm going to be talking about. And I don't have the physical product with me, but I'll throw a picture right here. Basically what this brand is, is ice cream cone edibles. Once again, in the weed niche, 
I instantly knew I could blow it up because I'm the king of weed content. So I decided to work with them and do the same type of marketing. And I don't have any video examples of this brand to show you guys because I already deleted all of them. But if you guys do wanna see that along with all the other products I talked about in this video, I have full case studies inside of my Discord. So if you guys do wanna join my Discord to see all these case studies, it's in the link in the description of this video. But basically what this brand right here, I did the same type of marketing that I always do. Because it's in the weed niche, I knew I could take advantage of the same type of marketing I did with all these other products. All I had to do was simple POV meme style content because once again stoners just want to be entertained they just want to see funny videos that has to do with the product that's exactly what i did so i managed to grow an instagram account with this brand to 50,000 followers in just under two months and i was going super viral with this product but this brand was only giving me a retainer they're paying me around one to two thousand dollars a month to blow up this brand but they were giving me no commission, which means all the viral videos and all the traffic I was bringing to their website, I didn't earn any of that money. So I was like, yo, I'm not about to sit here and lose out on potential money I could be making right now. So what I did is I went behind their back and I went to their website. I got an affiliate link from their website and I put it in the link of my Instagram bio. And because I was going so viral on Instagram with this product, sales instantly started coming in. But basically every week I was getting a viral video with this brand and all the traffic was going to my affiliate link and bringing me a bunch of sales. But like I said, I don't really have any video examples to show you guys with this product because I already deleted all of them. But I managed to do around $8,000 in profit and pure commissions through my affiliate link. But basically they found out I went behind their backs to earn commission and they basically got really mad at me. But I'm not gonna dive too in depth into that. So I don't know why they got mad at me. I blew up their brand and I earned some of my own money. So, but yeah, that's what I'm here for, bro. I'm here for the money. I got my money and they got mad. That's really not my problem. But yeah, at this point, I was really fed up with brands. After the Smile Labs brand and after this Baked Bags brand, both getting mad at me, I was like, bro, I'm done with this shit. When you work for these brands, you're basically an employee to these brands. So I was like, bro, I'm done with this shit. Let me just keep on doing my drop shipping. And that's where we are today. So yeah, moving on to the next product that I just recently blew up. This right here is the product I'm going to be talking about. If you guys have ever seen this product on your Instagram or on your For You page, once again, it's me. I'm the one behind it. I'm the one that blew this shit up. But basically what this product is, you just put this straw onto any water bottle, you drop in this glass piece, then you can smoke out of any water bottle. Just like that. Once again, it's a very cool product. It's intrinsically viral and it's in the weed niche and it kind of solves a problem for stoners because it helps them smoke faster and they can basically smoke wherever they are. They can grab a water bottle, throw this on and smoke very quickly. So it's kind of in a way problem solving. And yeah, the weed niche is just very powerful. So I decided to run this product. So the way I found this product, once again, on my TikTok burner, I was just scrolling one day, I found this product and I was like, damn, I can blow this shit up. And that's exactly what I did. So if you guys didn't know, it's 2024, you can't really run weed products on TikTok anymore. They instantly get banned or just very low views. So what I did is I focused 100% on Instagram. For this specific product, I barely posted on TikTok. What I would do is just make the videos, save them to my camera roll and post them on Instagram. I didn't even focus on TikTok. I did not care about TikTok. Instagram is actually an ATL money glitch when it comes to organic dropshipping, but I'm not gonna talk about that too much in this video. But that's exactly how I blew up this product entirely through Instagram organic dropshipping. Fuck TikTok organic. I blew this up through Instagram organic dropshipping. But yeah, I managed to do around 40 million views with this product and around $25,000 in sales. I know that conversion rate sounds really bad. That's because half of my traffic was like coming from India and Istanbul and a bunch of random countries. Sometimes the traffic would just be very mixed up. So yeah, the CVR wasn't the greatest, but I went stupid viral, 40 million views with this product and $25,000 in sales in just under two months of running this product. So pretty decent. But now I'm gonna show you guys some example videos with this product and give you guys some tips on why they blew up. So this right here was my most viral video with this product, 10 million views. La -da 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 -da. I was gonna go to class before I got high. Come on, y'all. Check it out. Uh, I could have cheated. So very simple video. Where was this when I was in high school? But the reason this video did so good is because I directly called out my target audience. I also had a nice background and the product once again is just intrinsically viral. So as you can see, I said, where was this when I was in high school? So that means I was calling out my target audience because I wanted to sell to people who are at least 25 to 35 years old. So if I say, where was this in high school? combined with the caption that says, I needed this 10 years ago, it immediately implies that my target audience is over the age of 25. Because I don't wanna be selling to high schoolers or college students who are broke. I wanna sell to an older audience who actually has money to buy my product. That's exactly what I did. Once again, another similar example that went very viral. La -da 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 -da. I was gonna go to class before I got high. Come on, y'all. Check it out. Uh, I could've cheated and I could've passed, but I got high. Uh. 
Once again, a very simple video. The best thing I bought with my adult money, laughing emoji, weed emoji. Once again, instantly calls out my target audience because if I say the best thing I bought with my adult money, it obviously implies that my target audience is adult with money. It's very simple, guys. We're just making simple hooks to call out your target audience. So yeah, those are two of my most viral examples. But yeah, I managed to blow up this product, 40 million views, and I did around $25,000 in sales in just under two months. But yeah, that's basically how I made $300,000 off stoners. Now I just wanna leave you guys off with some final tips for this video. So as you guys noticed, a lot of the products I test are weed products because I mastered a niche and I stuck with it. Like I said in the beginning, I used to be a stoner. I used to smoke all the time. So I know exactly what stoners wanna see on their For You page. And I know exactly the type of content they like. So with all of my products, I do the same exact style of content, the POV meme style content. So what I do is with my products, I just make very funny, product focused videos. I don't try to sell the product. I don't do any CTAs. I just make meme style content with the products. And in the weed niche, that works very well because once again, you're selling to stoners and don't get offended, but stoners are pretty fucking dumb. Another reason I can market to stoners so good is because I always optimize my For You page and I see what's going trending in the stoner niche. Whatever is going trending in the stoner niche, I just replicate those videos for my products. And obviously my product videos will go viral also because the same videos are going viral on the for you page so if i use those videos for my product my product will also blow up like i mentioned about riding the fulcrum wave when fulcrum was first blowing up that's the only person stoners were talking about so if i just combine his marketing with my marketing obviously my products are going to blow up and make a lot of money so you just need to optimize your for you page see what's going viral in your niche and mimic those videos for your product. And the last thing I wanna mention is Instagram is probably the biggest asset you can have. As you guys learned in this video, at least 90% of all the money I've made came from Instagram. Instagram is probably the biggest asset when it comes to organic dropshipping. So if you're a dropshipper and you're not utilizing Instagram yet, you are missing out on so much money, you don't even realize it. If you guys want full A through Z case studies on exactly how I blew up these products, I have full case studies in my Discord. So if you guys want all the behind the scenes of what went in to blowing up these products join my discord down below all the case studies are in my discord but yeah that's basically how i made three hundred thousand dollars off stoners if you guys have any questions about this or any questions about drop shipping feel free to dm me on instagram i reply to all my dms as long as you're following me but yeah that's basically gonna wrap it up hopefully you guys learned a lot from this video but yeah that's basically it i'll catch you guys in the next video i'm going to the top i call this shit the promised land